understand this, when you lay down the scepter, somebody's gonna dominate your family. Somebody's gonna rule your marriage. Somebody's gonna take control of your body and of your mind. If you won't rule, you'll be ruled. And that's the truth of the matter. When David was on the battlefield, Israel was free. And as soon as he sinned like this, it caused so much pain and problems. Here's, a, here's another possibility of why David, and this is, this is what I believe, especially you know, being a man, is he had already spotted Bathsheba and was waiting for an opportunity. I don't, you know, Bathsheba bathed on her roof. And of course, the houses in Israel at that time, that's how they made their houses. They were flat roofed and you went up on the roof to bathe or to garden or to do whatever. They didn't sunbathe up there. They were smarter than that. And, but they went up to the roof to do that. So David, his rooftop obviously was, had proximity to Bathsheba's rooftop and she bathed up there. Uh, obviously not very modestly. I think she knew David was there also. But in the wintertime, Bathsheba probably didn't bathe on the rooftop. I'm just gonna say probably didn't. David knew where Bathsheba was. He knew she was a beautiful woman and he knew she had this habit of bathing on the rooftop. This is what I believe. But in the winter, she didn't. And David knew if he went off in the spring to war that he would miss, I'm not gonna get too graphic. He'd miss the Bathsheba show, whatever, you know. <laughs> so when it came time for war, he decided to stay home and get on the internet. Bathsheba, her husband was gone. She came up to the roof. Interestingly, when he sent for her, she did not resist. I believe that there was both sides working. What an enemy soldier never could do to David, she did. She caused more pain in David's life. And this is what happens with the devil. He promises us pleasure and only delivers death. The wages of sin is death. I've done it, you've done it, we've all done it. We have believed the lie of the devil that sin would bring pleasure, it only brings pain. If the devil can't kill you with a bullet, he'll try Bathsheba. It's a pretty package for a poison pill. David knew Bathsheba lived close. He knew she would be up on that roof as soon as the warm weather came. This was a premeditated act on David's part, in my opinion. And understand this, Nathan the prophet came to David and he said, David, there's this, there's this man who has all these sheep. And he went and stole another man's sheep who only had one. And he killed that man. And David became furious. And Nathan said, you are that man. And what you've done. Sin keeps a lot of people off the battlefield. Did, did me for a long time. There's one other possibility that I believe. Maybe David was afraid. You know, he'd been in a lot of battles. He wasn't getting any younger. And understand this, you know, David had killed a lot of uh, giants. And so there were a lot of giant families that didn't like David, to say the least. And when he went into battle, uh, imagine you're an enemy and you're going into battle against the Israelites and David's in the army, you only wanna kill David. <laughs> Any person knew you became instantly famous the minute you killed King David. So David had a growing list of enemies and he was also getting older. It could have been that he was losing his nerve. It could have been when he was thinking about going to war that he was thinking to himself, I don't know that I can do it again this year. I just don't know that I have the strength. It really didn't matter if he did or didn't because his faith had always been in God. He rushed a nine foot tall giant with a slingshot. Really didn't matter what he had in his hand. Really didn't matter how old he was. It was only mattered that his faith was in God. Maybe, maybe he was losing his nerve. Maybe it was a combination of all three. Maybe he thought, now I've succeeded enough to retire. I know Bathsheba is gonna come along and I don't wanna die. Well, let me, let me ask you a question. Are you on the battlefield? Are you where God wants you to be? Are you taking ground or are you losing ground? Are you becoming that person that God wants you to be as you fight one battle at a time 
and claim what is yours and fight the devil for your destiny? Or are you on the rooftop because of fear, because of sin, or just because you've retired? But you can't retire from this battle. Well, I love to preach about David, and I love King David. He's just one of the the greatest men in history, certainly a man after God's heart. And the thing I love about the Bible is it tells the whole story about everybody, you know, whether it's Abraham or Moses or the Apostle Paul or whoever it is, is it tells both sides. And David did some wonderful things like David and Goliath, but he also did some things not so well, and we learn from those things. To be a great person, to to deal with the issues of our lives so that we can fulfill God's destiny for our life. Thank you for watching Marriage Today with Jimmy and Karen. Support Marriage Today with your best gift and receive the series, I Am David. Experience release and freedom from the pain of your past with the life-changing book, When Life Hurts by Jimmy Evans. Visit whenlifehurtsbook.com. Follow your interests and get social by connecting with Jimmy and Karen and the Ministry of Marriage Today on Twitter. Looking for your next great book? Start reading instantly with Marriage Today's eBooks now available online. Become a rock solid partner today and equip yourself with the tools you need for a successful marriage. $14, $28, or $56 per month. Choose the partnership level that's right for you. Become a rock-solid partner today.